Welcome back, movie trivia Schmodown fans. It is the ultimate Schmodown. The big tournament and has been going, and it has not disappointed. There has been so many surprises already, so many tight matches. These are some of the best of the best. Not some. These are the best of the best. So many great players in this tournament. We're going to get two of them today. Now, as much as I love to do these matches with Mark Baby Carrots Ellis, I always like to find some new blood. I like to find some new peeps who are out here who are as passionate. And I can tell you that this particular person I brought in today, I could challenge anybody when it comes to their particular passion for this sport. Um, she is the co-host of Chill to Action on the Call to Action channel. Please give it up for the one and the only, Ms. Danny Ramirez. Hello, Danny. How you doing? Hi, welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to have you also because, you know, you've been a fan of the sport now for a while. You guys have been doing great stuff on your show. You know, you took home that uh, the the after show slash um, podcast of the year uh, the, on this year's Schmodown Award. So w if the fans aren't familiar with your fandom, they uh, they certainly are going to find out today. But are, how excited are you for this match between Silvestrini and Miller? I am super pumped for this match. If anyone is familiar with the channel, they know me. They know that I am a big swag supporter, drip, drip, all that good stuff. But if you are also a fan of the podcast, then you know that Rachel Silvestrini is also a big friend of the podcast. So this is a very close match for me, and I'm very excited to be here with you to call it today. We're excited to have you here because this is very important, as you mentioned, for both swag and the den this has been a race winston marshall has been a phenomenon when it's come to managing this season his players have responded to him his fans have responded to him uh i mean even other managers who don't want to give him credit can't help themselves because of what he has done so far but what do you think it is about winston marshall that has made him such a special manager this season I think it's very clear whenever Winston is on screen, he, he watches these movies with his competitors. He makes sure that he's in the trenches with it with them. So he's very much a part of these matches in the same way that his competitors are. And you can see it and you can tell. And it's very refreshing to see a manager go through something like that with his players. Well, it's funny you say that, especially in the case today of Liz Shannon Miller, who, if you've been paying attention to the Schmodown in general, you know the trivia mind that Liz Shannon Miller has. She is just, she is, she's phenomenal. But the thing is, she has always said, and she has always made it public, the 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 grandstanding, the talking smack, the, the she she's never said, that's not why she got into this thing. She got in this thing to answer questions. However, when it comes to Winston Marshall, who cuts promos for her, I think it was the first time where Liz was like, oh, yeah, OK, I see what I see what you're doing there and I dig it. I'm just not going to do it. You do it. And I like you doing it. Uh, yeah. And and I and I think it's brought a different energy out of Liz for sure. I agree. I definitely agree. Winston has that charm to him. He brings it out of people. He is that for people. And it's amazing to see that support. Now, on the other side of that, you got Rachel Silverstrini, who I will kick and scream, but I, I caved into the switchblade and she has been she's been a switchblade. She because you look at the attitude change from Silverstrini last year, the 0 2 record doesn't do her justice. She went up against both Paul Preston and Roca and gave them both fights. It was by no means anything except fights on both of those. And you've seen what she's done so far in teams. So Rachel's got something to prove here. She wants to advance and by taking on someone like Liz Shannon Miller, she has a great opportunity here. Absolutely agreed. I agree with you. Her record does not prove what type of competitor she is. Sometimes we deal with bad luck inside of the Schmodown, but anyone who is a fan of this league knows that Rachel Silvestrini is not messing around. She is coming for blood this season, and I am so excited to see it. The Switchblade is here, y'all. Yeah, well, the Switchblade also has some really powerful uh, ladies behind her, and that is both Grace Hancock, who it scares me when I say her name, to be completely honest with you, and Kate Mulligan, who scares me because I think she might be living in my garage. So uh, I, uh, I but the two of them have also been sound with one another. They they have been on the same page with their opponents. Not everything is broken their way, especially in 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 this tournament. But, you know, this is a uh, this is a big match for the den for sure. 
Agreed. I I like the way Kate and Grace work with each other. Um, Grace is more behind the scenes manager where Kate is very up there and forward and you can really see the camaraderie between the two of them. And it's really great to see two wonderful women work so well together. All right. Well, there's a lot of story about how we got here and we're going to show you just a little bit of how it all went down right now. Okay, great. Yeah. And uh, give her uh, 12 cc's of uh, pasta. And that should take care of it and uh, Oh, hey there. What's going on, uh, Rachel Sochi? First things first. To everyone that's been bad-mouthing me and talking about how I don't belong in this tournament, when I win today, not one of you gets to cheer for me. So Rachel Silvestrini deserves to be here. Take that to the bank, cash that check, send me the receipt of it, okay? We don't need to, we don't need to give in to these haters, okay? The truth is, it's the lioness that hunts. Okay, look that stat up. You have a strong case of only knowing Kevin Smith and Disney movies. Okay, great. You could go the more holistic route and you can uh, meet with somebody like say, uh, Lightning Liz Shannon Miller. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I was just getting in some quality time with my friend Taint Girl here. Say hi, Taint Girl. So much hype about you. Like, they're saying you could be the next Ethan. The next Ethan Irwin. She's got to be somebody to look out for. It's been a really interesting journey coming back to singles. I'm very happy to be working with a swag team, Drip Drip. Liz, you're a great competitor, and I'm so glad you're in the league. I love watching you play. I'm just really sad that I have to be the one that takes you out of the tournament. Uh, she's actually really good at her specialty in her practice. Uh, hopefully, maybe by the time you're done meeting with her, I don't know, maybe improve your condition a little bit, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it's gonna hurt a little bit. I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not It's not a fun procedure. Uh, I think we're gonna kill this. Uh, I think as a, as a team, we've been doing pretty well so far. It's been great to have a team. Isn't that right, team girl? Yeah, yeah, I do agree. Liz has an extra name. So already she's cheating, okay? Your most intense match was against JTE, and the only reason you won was because he got such an incredibly hard slice. Because I know that I'm a better player, and I'm better for this league than you are. Rachel, don't worry, I'm sending you something. It's my blonde shampoo. It keeps you nice and blonde, but this is just so you can wash the haters right out of your hair, baby. I think we're going to have a good time. As always, what could be more fun than just talking about movie trivia? Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. And uh, who knows? We might be able to even get you out of that, uh, you know, den situation you got going on there, you know? Get you some real pride. Okay, have a good one. Well, guys, you see, Danny, obviously the, the, the great editing skills by Nerd Chronic. Uh, this, this, is a, this is an intense match. We know how much it means. The jokes might get cracked there by Kate, and the feistiness might come out of both Winston and, uh, and Grace. But uh, it, let, make no mistakes about it. This is all about the points right now and all about advancing into round number two. That's right. That's right. We're getting uh, this tournament is moving forward and we're excited to see where this goes. Round two is going to be a crazy round and I'm excited to see where this all goes. Well, we're going to see a little bit more of it because both Kate Mulligan, Grace Hancock and Winston Marshall. Well, well oh. he pack. he's got it. He, he stole your oh, OK. Uh, your uh, hello. OK. Hello. Any, how, is, how is everyone today? Okay. You sound great, Kate. Any uh, any response to uh, what you just saw there? Listen, <laughs> you think you think that's an insult? Nah, baby. Now I know. That's just imitation is a, is the highest form of flattery. Okay. You want to oh, be yeah. me, Winston? I got you. Okay. I'll no. give you some tips. All right, no, Winston. No. Yes, go ahead. I'm not. I'm not trying to be Kate. No, that's crazy. I mean, why would I? Why would I want to be with somebody that's behind me? No, that's crazy. But I do keep things inside my fanny pack as well. Uh, I'm a dog dad now, so I keep uh, dog uh, doggy crap bags, and uh, I keep uh, little treats for my dog. 
and they're my AirPods because you know you never know when you might want to listen to a podcast about movies. All right, yeah. I, I gotta be honest with you. I can't tell if I should be offended by whatever accent you're doing or laughing. Hundred percent. I don't even know what it is. I don't even know. It's it's like a completely different. I I, I it's it's from a different planet. Um. All right, listen. I gotta ask you real quick, Grace. Uh, the uh, this match between Silverstreeny and Miller. Miller came out very strong. She she's got a record of three and two. She's already battled some greats in her young career in the Schmodown. Any fear of the switchblade going up against Lightning Liz here today? No, and I just want to say, first of all, Danny, how nice it is to see somebody who's fair and gorgeous on the panel today for a change. What a treat. Although I do have to say and reiterate that 99% of my joy in this game is making Christian squirm. But um, no, I'm very excited. Much like Danny just said, you know, we've not, we've put her up against really, really, really rough players. As always, Christian, very unbiased with my team. So I'm excited for her to show us her full ability today. We love the fighters in the den. She's part of the pride, and I'm really excited to see her flex her muscles today and make Christian very upset. Well, yes, I'm always upset when I have to spend just that much more time on the screen with you. But Danny, did you have anything else that you wanted to ask uh, Kate or uh, Grace? Or- yeah, I. Yeah. So going into this match, we're seeing two lovely ladies go into it. Uh, if there was one thing specifically that you had to say to your opponent, what would you say to them? Yeah. Okay. I actually got. I actually brought something for Liz Shannon Miller. Uh, Liz, this is called pre-heel. Okay. It's something that you spray on the back of your foot so that the heel doesn't bother you when you're wearing your heels. So I'm gonna get this in the mail to you as fast as I can so that you don't get bothered by Rachel. Oh, all right, guy, Winston. Yes, please. Yeah, so a couple of things. Uh, first of all, what I say to my opponent is, Kate. I got Why is that thing. accent? I got I got something for you too. This is a uh, this is a rose spray. It's to spray off that clown makeup you put on today. That's the first thing. And the second thing is, Liz. I know you could probably already hear me. Don't worry about these clowns. It's ladies' night, but you're the one that's going to get the VIP section. Oh wow, Grace. Anything? Any response here to Winston's? Uh... Couldn't say it any better than Kate. Okay, fair enough. All right, listen. This um, is a big yes, Kate. No, go ahead. no, I, I can't. Okay, all right, all right. Listen, let's. Uh, this is this is massive for you guys. Obviously, Swag has been winning matches here and is and is getting closer and closer to the prize land. And the Den needs this win. Obviously, with with their eliminations thus far, they need a big win. So. We're going to remove you both. Good luck to all of you at the moment. And we are about to start our match. Are you ready, Danny? I am ready, Christian. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. Introducing first, representing the Den. With a record of zero wins, two defeats in the singles division, she is Rachel, the Switchblade, Silverstrini. Rachel, Silverstrini, I know that you just won because of the nickname that was announced during this entrance here, but the other big victory is... It, it's it's a reach away because you're going up against Lightning Liz here today. How are you feeling going into your first round match? I'm not worried. Not at all. Her two losses were to two incredibly strong competitors, just like my two losses were. And her three wins were very much softballs. So I think this is actually going to be a really good test between her and I to see who really is the better one. Wow, interesting. JTE, former champion in the team's division, being called a soft by the, by the switchblade. It is a uh, it is a rough start here, Danny. Look at that. She is poised and ready. That is femme fatale written all over it. I can't wait. All right. So, Rachel, we're going to put you in the uh, waiting room here as we get to your, uh, your opponent. All right. And her opponent representing Swag. With a record of three wins, two defeats with one knockout. She is Lightning, Liz Shannon Miller. Liz has a 
guys arrived. Liz, so good to see you as always. Um, you know, you've, you've been playing. You've had a teams match this year with Adam Lavick, which you took home the victory. You're a total of four and uh, and two overall in the Schmodown. You got brought in here by Ethan Irwin, kind of thrown into this crazy circus, if you will. But it seems, and correct me if I'm wrong, it seems that with Swag and Winston Marshall, you found kind of a new love for this thing. I mean, it's definitely been a complete game changer to have basically teammates in this game. Like, you know, we're training together. We're, you know, working together. We're at the very least, we have each other's backs. And that's been a real credit to what Winston's been able to build with, with swag. It's my first experience being on a faction and gosh, I hope they're all as good as this. Danny, you got something for Liz? Yeah, I am just ready to see this new spark in the lightning. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay. All right. So we're going to move you out here just for a moment. Bring back uh, Rachel. There is Liz. Okay, ladies, we are ready to start round number one. The rules of round number one work like this. The competitors are going to get eight questions, eight questions, all worth one point apiece. You'll have 15 seconds to answer the questions. Don't forget about your JTE rules and your challenges. If you do indeed challenge, you will bring your manager in, confer with your manager that you do want to indeed challenge, and then make the decision. So once again, round number one is going to be eight questions. You can repeat if you need to. One point apiece, 15 seconds to answer the questions. All right. We start with Liz Shannon Miller. Are you ready? I'm ready. Rachel? Let's do this. Then let's get ready to Schmodown. All right. Question number one. Category number one. Action slash adventure. Who starred as the titular hero in 2014's Hercules, which was directed by Brett Ratner? Christian, I got to tell you, it is so much fun to get to hear you say that live. Oh, uh, thank you very much. I'm glad. See, this is a, that's a good way to get me. To, you're gonna, I'm gonna replace you and replace our Ellis now, and you're you're in. For, <laughs> and we have five, four, three, two, one. Liz, Dwayne Johnson. Yes, and Rachel, Dwayne Johnson. All right, so we have a score so far of one to one to one. Danny, question uh, number two. All righty, question number two. In the category of rom coms, Cher famously says, snap out of it. In what 1987 rom com, which was nominated for Best Picture? Again, this is a. Uh... The way that the two are battling already, you can tell. You can tell the mindset. You can tell how serious they are about this this match, and it's great to see. Yeah, they're both going into it ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Rachel. Moonstruck. Yes, Liz. Moonstruck. Two, two. As we get to our next question in the category of dramas, Ed Zwick directed Tom Cruise in which. 2003 film sometimes you know you get those years danny and you say huh i mean does that trick me do i get it does it help me you never know years are tricky sometimes but big shout out to the action army and tc legend out there all my tc legend fans and five four three two one pens down please and liz the last samurai that is correct rachel and magnolia didn't have it. All right. So we see Liz Shannon Miller taking her first strike here, three to two, as we get to our next question in a category. Danny up. In the category of family films, question four Lily James plays a Disney princess in what 2015 remake? You seen any? Uh, well, I don't want to, I, I don't want to prompt you. <laughs> so <laughs> something. Fine. Get you. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Rachel. Cinderella. Yeah, Liz. Cinderella. Liz Shannon Miller, a perfect four thus far, but it's only a one point game as we see ourselves. Four, three, question number five. Fantasy sci fi. Who plays the lead character, Roy, in the film Midnight Special? The Midnight Special for me is falling asleep before midnight. <laughs> Those uh, those daddy nights. Oh man, you ain't kidding. 
<laughs> I don't even know what it's like anymore. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And we start here with Rachel. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, with uh, with Liz. Uh, Michael Shannon. Yes, and now Rachel. Michael Shannon. Correct. Sorry about that. Okay, next question here, uh, Danny. All righty. In, uh, I'm sorry. I apologize for this, y'all. But in the category of comedies, ha 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 ha. I had to. I had to. In, I what comedy, in what comedy does Eddie Murphy play Saul, the elderly Jewish man, Clarence the barber, and and soul singer Randy Watson? I had to. I had to. You know, it's not as bad as when when you do it. <laughs> the fans but, have never forgiven me. Uh, no, I understand. Five. Four, three. Make it a repeat. Yes, first one. I was Rachel's first repeat. Go ahead. In uh, in what comedy does Eddie Murphy play Saul, the elderly Jewish man, Clarence the barber, and soul singer Randy Watson? She using her first JTE rule to see if she can recall the answer. Sometimes it's a great strategy by players because they take some a little more time and then they hit it. Sometimes it doesn't work out. We'll find out what the case is here. Five, four. Three, two, one. Rachel? Is it Dolomite is my name? It is not. Liz? Nutty Professor? It's not. Uh, the answer, Danny? Uh, the answer is coming to America. Uh, coming to America. So Liz misses her first one, and it doesn't hurt as much as Rachel missed it because it's still only that one point, and now Liz doesn't have that opportunity for the two-point swing with a perfect round. All right. Number seven. Horror slash thriller. Jason famously was sent to space in the 10th entry in the Friday the 13th franchise. What was it called? Need more horror space movies in my life. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they don't really seem to nail the formula thus far. Not yet. Not yet. Far. Five, four, three, two, one. One pens down, please. Pens down and uh, Liz. Jason X. Yes, and Rachel. Jason X. So six to five. Miller keeping her one point lead as we get to our final question here, Danny, in round number eight. Final question in the category of animated films. What animated franchise features installments that include Continental Drift and Collision Course? Writers going deep with this animation question. Question is, have you seen it? Yeah, it's my favorite category in the Schmodown. It really is. Ah, Ethan Irwin's too. Just kidding. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens down and Rachel. Stars my old boss, Ice Age. It does. And Liz? I worked with no one connected with the Ice Age. <laughs> <laughs> Seven six, seven six. Liz Shannon Miller keeping her one point lead here as we get to round number two. The rules of round number two work like this. The competitors are going to have to spin from the wheel of destiny, the wheel of fate, if you will. All the categories will be up. The contestant in the lead will choose whether or not they want to go first or second. If they choose to go first or second, whenever they're going. They will spin that wheel. If it lands on a category they like, they will stick with it. If it doesn't, if they don't like it, they can spin again, unless it hits opponent's choice. There's going to be four questions, each worth two point apiece, unless, of course, you go to multiple choice. Remember, there is stealing in this round. Liz Shannon Miller has all of her JTE rules left, uh, and the Switchblade has two left. All right. We are going to start here because Liz Shannon Miller has a one point lead. We're going to drop out both Kate and Rachel and Winston. You got 60 seconds to talk to Liz starting now. Uh oh, did he freeze? First of all, ladies, y'all need to watch Antonio back and see some sexual chocolate. Sexual chocolate. <laughs> but real talk, Liz, you did an amazing job in round one. Super proud of you. You're just like not just cool as a cucumber girl. I see you. Um, all your JTs still got our challenge, no big deal. How are you feeling? What would you like to do? Um, good. I'm feeling good. I think I'm gonna I wanna defer um to my opponent okay. for, for the second round. That, that's okay. amazing. That's what we practice and then if you're feeling it, then let's keep it let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's play this game. 
All right, great. So we're going to drop Liz out then. We're going to drop uh, Winston out, and we will bring back both Rachel and Kate. All right, Kate, you got 60 seconds to talk to Rachel here before we spin, starting now. How are you feeling right now? You look amazing. Thank you, Mama. I'm feeling good. Like, a one-point lead is absolutely nothing. Doesn't mean a thing. Especially when my two strongest rounds are ahead of me, so I'm feeling really good. I say let's spin that wheel, baby doll. Let's do it. All right. All right, the wheel will be brought up in a moment here. There it is, the wheel of destiny and the first spin by the switchblade. And here it is, seeing, you know, she has a lot of different slices on here that I'm sure she would want. And we know that she's been studying, so who knows what new ones are out there. Nora Ephron, Nora Ephron, 60 seconds to decide what you want to do with it starting now. What's what's worse on the wheel? What's better? Um, you know what I'm like, what's, what are the odds right now? I mean, the odds are I'm I'm pretty good at this, but I'm I'm definitely I think I'm willing to risk a spin for a few other slices. Okay, you feel like the majority of what's left is strengths. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna I spin again. I, I support that. All right, here's the second spin. Whatever she lands on here, she's gonna have to take four questions in, and we start with this category for round number two. It will be. The 2010s. This is any 2010 to 2019. All right. Going to bring. Thank you, Kate. Bring you out. Bring back Liz. All right, Rachel, you're going to get four questions here in the realm of the 2010s. All right. Are you ready? Let's do this. Here you go. Who played? Sorry. Who plays Roland Deschain in 2017's The Dark Tower? Shoot, the internet went out. I'll take a JT on that. All right, first one. Who, second one, excuse me. Who plays Roland Deschain in 2017's The Dark Tower? Matthew McConaughey. It's incorrect, Liz. The question is, who plays Roland Deschain in 2017's The Dark Tower? The name of the other actor I know is in that film, Idris Elba. That's correct for two points. Liz Shannon Miller with a big steal here. Question two. Here you go, Rachel. What 2014 film follows two teenage cancer patients named Hansel, nope, Hazel, and Gus as they fall in love? Uh, The Fault in Our Stars. That's correct for two points. It'd be a very different movie if (laughs) Hansel. It'd still be sweet, I'm sure. All right, here you go. In the film Killer Joe. Who plays Killer Joe Cooper, who's an assassin for hire? Multiple choice. Is it A, Emil Hirsch, B, Thomas Hayden Church, C, Matthew McConaughey, D, Josh Brolin? Can I get the multiple choice repeated? One time. Is it Emil Hirsch, Thomas Hayden Church, Matthew McConaughey? Josh Brolin. Emil Hirsch. Incorrect. So, Rachel, excuse me, Liz, in Killer Joe, who plays Killer Joe Cooper in Assassin for Hire? Is it A, Emil Hirsch, B, Thomas Hayden Church, C, Matthew McConaughey, D, Josh Brolin? I'm going to go with uh, Matthew McConaughey. For a one-point steal, that's exactly what it is. So that's question number three. Question number four, here it is. Which actor plays the vampire Vladislav, Vladislav, V-L-A-D-I-S-L-A-V, in What We Do in the Shadows? That is... Multiple choice. Is it A, Jermaine Clement, B, Taika Waititi, C, Reese Darby, D, Johnny Bruh? A. Jermaine Clement is correct. So with that round at the end here, we see ourselves with Silver Screen still down 10-9 because of those steals. 10-9, Liz Shannon Miller has a one-point lead going into this next round. All right, we're going to drop out Rachel. We're going to bring in Winston. 60 seconds here to discuss this with Liz starting now. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to tell you, you clearly are a BA. I know I can't swear on here because I got locked out for a while, so I missed pretty much everything. And the fact that I came back and now you you out here stealing points and everything, 
That's why you're going to be a champion, girl. I already see it happen. So let's go spin this thing. You got all that confidence from taking questions from us. Let's, let's go get what we want, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. The wheel is up. Liz Shannon Miller obviously feeling pretty confident right now. She has a, t- a one-point lead going into round number two. If she gets something she likes, could be in KO uh, County here. But let's let's see. Let's uh, bring up that wheel. And here it is. First spin in by Liz Shannon Miller. Big money, big money, big money, big money. Uh, no big whammies. Money, no whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Uh, and that's not a whammy. That's not a whammy. Let me see. Oh, my God. Pressure. Don't move it. Don't move it. Because if it's on the line, it goes to the right. If it's exactly on. Dude, it's definitely fatter on it's the spinners. spinners. It's on spinners. It's on spinners. Okay, but sure. I check. Right. It's on finish choice, and you have 60 seconds to decide what you want to choose starting now. You know, so you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say we know what we put on the board, so whichever one you're feeling better about today. Um, you know what? Let's try it. Let's do SNL movies. Great. All right. So, Danny, when you're ready, Liz, are you ready? I am ready. All right. We're just going to drop Winston out here and bring back Rachel. Excuse me. Let's and here we go rachel is back in and now liz will have four questions danny in uh, the realm of snl movies starting uh now in snl movies question one in what 1980 snl based movie do the main characters say we're on a mission from god the blues brothers that Correct. is two points all right question number two Question two, who plays the title character in the film MacGruber? Will Forte. Two more points, all right. And then let's get to uh, these final two. So far, 14-9, 14-9, here's the next one. Question three, characters sing along to the song Bohemian Rhapsody in what SNL film? Wayne's World. And now it is 14 9 14 9 and now we get to the last question in round number uh two here for liz that's right last question in snl in coneheads which snl star plays ronnie a mechanic who begins dating the daughter of the conehead family i'm gonna go multiple choices all righty your multiple choices are a chris farley b adam sandler C, Mike Myers, or D, David Spade? Uh, A, Chris Farley. That is correct. Correct there. So Lish Shannon Miller right now is now up 17-9 after blowing through the Saturday Night Live category. Uh, first time ever used, I believe. So she got she got some really good questions there and showed that she's right. She knows TV. Bringing back both Winston and Kate. All right, round number three is about to begin here, and the way it goes, the competitors will choose three numbers in from categories one to 20. They'll get a two-pointer. They'll get a three-pointer. They will get a five-pointer. All right, and just a reminder here before we get started that uh, Liz Shannon Miller has all three JTEs. Rachel Silvestrini has one JTE left. Um, both have their challenges should they need it. All right, so... Because, uh, Liz, you are in the lead at the moment. Please pick your three numbers. Uh, 15, 16, and 17. 16 and 17 for Liz and for Rachel. Sorry, I missed her numbers. What were they? Her numbers were 15, 16, and 17. Okay, um, I will go 12, 3, and 7. 12, 3, and 7 for Rachel Silverstrini. All right. I just so, Christian, just to clarify, her having you repeat Liz's numbers don't it doesn't count as a JTE. Not, not this time, no. Okay, uh, just want to be clear. All right, so let's challenge. So, I challenge. Challenge. All right, so let's. We're gonna start here. Sixty seconds for Winston to talk to Liz, um, and then please send me some of those bubbles. All right, here we go. Well, first of all, Christian, I'll bring you a whole case, sir. No problem. You know I'm Instacart in these streets. Second of all, more importantly, Liz, I can't be more proud of you. You know I got your back this whole time. I put on my favorite t-shirt for you, girl. So just go out there, keep doing what you're doing, keep a calm, level head. This is exactly what we are meant to do. And I got nothing else to say. You're, you're a boss. Let's go. All right. 
Now you're going to have 60 seconds here. Oh, Liz, oh, Liz obviously you got a chance to respond here. Uh, thank you, Winston. This is, I mean, uh, Rachel, <laughs> Rachel, this has been a great match so far. I'm really excited to be competing with you. Same. Liz Shannon Miller uh, showing in the classiness that we've seen since the beginning of her career here. And now you get 60 seconds to talk to uh, Rachel here, Kate, starting now. Just want to remind you, the Bulls needed a three-pointer. John Paxson hit it. The Bulls needed a three-pointer. Steve Kerr hit it, okay? You're my Steve Kerr. You're my John Paxson. It's going to be fine, sister. We're playing from behind. That's what we like. All right. All right. Okay, Rachel, you ready to go? You need to. You need the rest of the time. No, nope, we're good. Let's all right, the, all right, ladies. So we are going to start here with Rachel Silvestrini, who's trying to avoid the TKO. And Rachel, you chose category number twelve. Category number twelve, which is the realm of sports movies. Sports movies. Mark Wahlberg's character plays what sport in two thousand and six's Invincible? Football. Correct for two points. All right. So Rachel Silvestrini now gets herself within six, within six here. And she now will answer this three pointer. The three pointer comes in the realm of new releases. New releases. This could be anywhere from the last 12 to 18 months. Here is your three pointer. Rachel, name both leads of the 2020 film, The Rhythm Section, about a woman that trains with a professional to seek revenge on the people that killed her family. Sterling K. Brown and Mrs. Ryan Reynolds. Um, Five, four, three, two. Repeat. One. All right, last one here. All right. Name both of the leads of the 2020 film, The Rhythm Section, about a woman that trains with a professional to seek revenge on the people that killed her family. Five, four, three. Sterling K. Brown and Blake Lively. One. And you're a winner! By way of technical knockout, Liz Shannon Miller! The two leads of the movie were Blake Lively and Jude Law were the two main leads of the movie. Are you, you guys see you have a question on I your... I don't know. You can bring in Kate. Yeah, I want to talk to Kate. Yeah, I mean, I guess the the real question is how do we distinguish a lead? Do we, is it that's uh, the question? What's the industry standard? Is the first two people is it is it open credit billing? Like who is it? What, what is it? Is it the first two people listed in the credits? Because Sterling so, K. Brown was a very prominent character, like one of the main leads in the movie. And also, so, Sterling K. Brown doesn't take supporting anymore. You know what I'm saying? So okay. how do we? How so, do we? So Robert, it's an official challenge. Yes, this yeah, is a challenge. Yes, official challenge. Official yeah. challenge. Yeah. Right, we, would me, like to, we would like to know how uh, how lead is determined. Great. I'm going to get on the uh, call here with, uh, with PJ, and we will be back in uh, just a moment. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, and we are back after some deliberation. So even though the question itself talks specifically about the woman who trains with a professional, and those are the two particular characters, it wasn't specific enough to ask Rachel Silvestrini who played those particular characters. So we thought the challenge inside of that of being confused of who was in the movie and not specific enough on which characters and which leads, we we're going to award the challenge to Rachel Silvestrini and give her a new question. Okay, thank so, you. Appreciate it. So we why a new yeah. question if well, but that's that. I mean, yes, a new question makes yeah. sense in the fact that like it's, it's, it's too. It's a new question because it's not, it's it's not because the question itself. What the intent of the question was specifying the teacher, and the and the woman that Blake Lively plays. 
So that is the question was asking for, but because it was not specific enough and it confused you, we're giving you another question. So then I also retain my JTE that I used on that. You do because because the question itself because the question itself is getting thrown out. So you will not you will not be charged. You have one more JTE left. Great, we appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Good challenge here as we are going to move both. Winston, and the game is not over, Danny. It's, it, it continues, and Rachel Silvestrini has an opportunity. So we're going to stick in the category of new releases. Right, here we go. Who plays lyricist Bernie Taupin and best friend to Elton John in 2019's Rocket Man? Five, four, three, two. Repeat. Last one. Here it is. Who plays lyricist Bernie Taupin and best friend to Elton John in 2019's Rocket Man? Five, four. It's Jamie three, something. Two. I don't have it. Oliver? And your winner, by way of technical knockout, is Shannon Miller. The answer was Jamie Bell, right on the tip of her tongue. Jamie Bell, Rachel, going to put you in the waiting room at the moment here. Bring in Winston Marshall, and let's see. His internet, oh, there he is. He got so excited, the internet went out on him. But uh, look. This is big, really big. Liz, not only do you show that kind of trivia power that you have in the past going up here 4-2 now in your singles career, you just picked up four big points. These are four massive points for Swag looking because of that knockout. You got to be feeling pretty good about this victory. It's feeling great. I mean, I am, again, like it was a pleasure playing with Rachel. Uh, I thought she was great. Uh, I really lucked into that spinner's choice and the fact that SNL is a relatively new category is always as a help. And Winston was a great coach as always. And yeah, this was a fun match. It's it's actually surprisingly, uh, I, I, not that not that pandemics are good things or anything, but uh, I, I will say it's a little it's a little it's a little more relaxing to be doing this on my couch than it is in the studio. I was going to ask that, Danny. You want to ask uh, Winston? Winston, you have to be very proud of Liz right now uh, coming into this match, putting, bringing in some big points for swag. Drip, drip, can't wait. Uh, are you excited to see Liz continue on into this tournament? Oh, absolutely. I couldn't be more proud. For those that were wondering what I was doing, I saw her just out here throwing them lightning punches. She was like, ah, ah, ooh, what, ah, steal that. Ooh, ah, ah, boom, boom, boom. So, like, just, I'm so, I am so, so, so proud of Liz. I remain proud of the entire faction that everybody like Liz was the first one we were like, let's get some practices in. She was like, great, I'd love to. Tell me when and where. Like Liz has been so positive and so like prepared and and such an incredible force to have on the squad. It's super dope to see her again on a ladies night to come out here and just be like, what's good? So yeah, we're we're uh, we're pushing. We continue to push. That's what we do. Uh, and I'm 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 like I said, I'm the hype man. And nothing else. I'm here to like, put the spotlight on my players and let them shine. Yeah, and Liz, you're sitting, you're sitting at home, like you said. But even though we're we're in this new kind of digital age with the schmodown, you still got to be able to feel that love and that hype coming in from Winston. I'm sure. Oh, I mean, it, it you know, it, 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 it surpasses mere technology. Uh, it's just, it's just like a warm blanket that surrounds me at all times. Aww. That's, that's really look. It's really great because Winston, look, man. I mean. So much this this four big points right now. Corruption and, and Finstock Exchange cannot be happy because you guys in this tournament have been knockout artists. Um, and and yeah. that's what that's what's been happening so far. You keep doing that, and you're going to be scaring people off here in first place. Is I mean, it, it, it's something you tasted. It's it, it, how are you feeling with this four? First of all, these big four points, and second, now that you're going head to head with corruption with uh, with Chance Ellison. I mean, it's what we, it's what we, is that, is that who Liz plays next? I haven't, I don't have the bracket yes. in front of me. Yeah, ch- chances who she plays next. Okay. I mean, then that's amazing because all I want is, is sweet, sweet, sweet revenge. And, and it'll be lovely to do that 
uh, to let Liz go up in here and, and do what she does best, man. I mean, have you ever seen what happens to a, a toad that gets struck by lightning? The same thing that happens to a snake and everything else. Nice. You know what Good. I'm saying? So let's Good. go ahead and go. Liz, last question here before we uh, let you go. Chance Ellison just escaped in a sudden death battle against someone that you defeated, and that's David Del Rio. It was a tight match, a close match, uh, sudden death, which you did not have to do against Del Rio. So does that give you a little confidence going in? Because even though Chance Ellison, he just won the Inner Geekdom tournament, he's only gone as far as you ever gone in a tournament, and that's past the first round. And so, and he's been in it a lot longer than you have. So going into that, is that a little bit of confidence going up against uh, a former team's champion and Chance Ellison? Uh, you know, honestly, I show up every time just not sure what the board's going to bring me, not sure if the movie that comes up is a movie I've never heard of or a movie I've seen a hundred times. Like, I I try not to get in my head about stuff like that. But I feel like, I feel like I've met Chance uh, just during tapings and so forth. He seems like a nice person. And yeah, I'm sure he's going to bring it. But I've got a great squad uh, to back me up and help me get ready for him. You well, see that she's she's just the light of our life, man. I'm trying to tell I'm you, like, Ace, 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 she did, she just Ace did something yeah. no one in the history of the showdown. She just referred to Chance Ellison as a nice person. So you, you well, <laughs> punch me in the that's, face. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Liz is Liz is just something absolutely unique and special in this in this league. In the sense that obviously you got that in Ace, and Ace is the nicest dude ever, and hit you with the upset city. But Liz is is is, is, is hits you with that niceness. And like, I'm just, you know what? I'm glad to be here. I know stuff. I don't know some things, but that person's cool. Let's have fun. What? Like, this is why this works. I'll be the bad guy. I got that for you. I'll talk to trash. You just have fun. Oh my goodness. This All is right. what he's been saying for, to me for day, from day one. And gosh darn it, I'm, I'm here for it. You're here for it. Well, you're going to continue to be here for it because you win today via TKO. Big match for Lightning. Liz Shannon Miller winning the match 17 to 11. Congratulations to Liz and congratulations, Winston. Um, look, it was a great match in general because if she even if she hits those 10 points, I mean, that's 37 or excuse me, 27 points she could have gotten in this match because of the steals. All right, going to bring back in, obviously, uh, they can't be feeling good at the moment, and that is Kate, Grace, and Rachel Silverstrini. i got to start with you here, Rachel. Um, look, I I've talked to you. Uh, I know how bad you wanted this one. I know how hard you worked for it, so uh, you got to be a little bummed at the moment, but, uh, but how are you feeling right now? I mean, I would expect somebody to do well if they win, if they spun Spinner's Choice. Like, that's just, it is what it is. She was facing questions about a handful of movies where I had an entire decade to pull from. And some of those movies were incredibly obscure. Also, Dark Tower, like, who the F watched that? Like, ugh. Um, but yeah, I mean, round one was great. Uh, excuse me. Round one was great. Round two uh, was a huge letdown for me. I should have stayed with Efron. Uh, made a mistake, uh, not going to multiple choice on that first question. I thought I had it, hadn't seen it in a while. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's upsetting to lose, but I mean, we'll come back. I'll have another match and I'll, I'll win that one. Like it's, it's fine. Yeah, from a fan perspective, watching this match, this was a tough match to watch. Rachel, you're definitely a fan favorite, but I do believe that the Den is a very, very strong faction. You ladies have done such a wonderful job with everyone in there, and I can't wait to see what you all do with this tournament. It's a big possibility that you all can still turn it around. How do you uh, how do you prep going into the next one? Oh, uh, I mean, we're we're definitely. I mean, no pun intended, but we are a pride of people. Like we, we love all of, I love all of my teammates. Um, and we're really gonna just buckle down and uh, just study our opponents and their weaknesses and improve our strengths. And uh, I know I've got Tom uh, scheduled for like a midnight seance coming up. So we're gonna work on some of his stuff. Um, and then we'll see, we'll see what happens with the teams league and yeah. All right. Well, listen, Rachel. I know that you. Uh, it, it was a. It was a tough one here, and you guys did fight very hard. It's been a good season so far, but nonetheless, this is uh, at the, the end of the road for the switchblade for this tournament. But we'll see a lot more of her. Thank you very much to both Grace and Kate and Rachel. Thank you, everybody. It was a hard fought victory, but it also shows how good Liz Shannon Miller is because even though, like she said, and 
we've seen this happen with a few different competitors and Liz brought it up the and I think we saw we saw it with a bunch of different competitors but she brought up the fact of the comfortability of playing in her own home you look at Ethan Irwin who played just kind of lights out when he went up against Roca on his couch right so there's something about that that I think not only will add into the way she's playing now, but when we do get back into the studio, I think that the confidence will start to come more because she's four and two. That is, that is a great record for a sophomore. She's a sophomore right now, and she she really knows what she's doing. So it's going to be a battle as you see these two swag versus corruption. It is going to be for the points. Chance Ellison versus Liz Shannon Miller, the Cobra versus Lightning Liz. Can't wait for it. I got to tell you, Danny, it was an absolute pleasure uh, working with you here today. Where can the kids find you if they want to come find the uh, Call to Action and Chill to Action podcast? That's right. You can find us on the YouTubes. You can find us there at Call to Action Podcast. Just search for that on YouTube. You can find us there. You can also find us on Twitter at Call to Action Pod. You can find me on Twitter at Danny Joy, D A N I E E J O Y. Thank you so much. It's an absolute pleasure working with you here today. Check out her show. They do a great job over there. And I'd like to thank Swag. I'd like to thank the Den. I'd like to thank you guys, because if you didn't know, we have all of these massive, massive events happening on pay-per-view. $10 patrons, you get them, and you get every single one we do. You get all the exhibitions. The Schmodown is a live experience. Whether you're there watching in front of a 1,000 fans in Chicago or you're watching at home, the live experience is the way to go. And you guys can go to the schmodownlive.com if you just want to get that. Try it out once or twice. And then join the Patreon because you, we want to give you the best bang for your buck. But for Danny Ramirez, I am Christian Harloff. And we will see you next time as the ultimate Schmodown keeps on moving.